that's so sad. <laughs> I have no idea what part you're at. Shh, 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 shh. Oh, what a twist! Dude, that was hilarious! Thanks! The drama. You know what it reminds me of? Gilmore Girls. Really? There's not even a female lead. That's why you're part of the problem, dude. Well, it takes place in a men's prison. There was just something very, I don't know, Gilmore-y about it. Hmm. I should know. It's my favorite show. Really? I kind of assumed you didn't grow up with TV since you didn't have, you know, electricity. Good point, Daddy. Scott. Daddy Scott. <laughs> but I used to break into this kid's house to play with his Beanie Babies. And one day he came home while I was there, so I hid under his bed. Which was awesome because there was a stash of beanies down there. And I was like, this must be what heaven's like. And then he gets into bed and puts on Gilmore Girls. And I'm stuck down there, but I could hear the whole thing. And I'm like, what is this magical show? So, every week, I'd break back into his house, crawl under his bed, and hang out with the beanies and wait to listen to Gilmore Girls with my new best friend while he went to sleep. He was also my first kiss, but I don't think he knows it happened. I'm just gonna leave that one right there. You know, I heard there was a girl who lives in this building who was on that show. What? But I never watched it, so I don't know who she was. What? But I do have her number in case of emergency. What? She invited her over. Yes! <laughs> I'll text her. Oh my god, she said oh she was going to read oh my, my script god. anyway, so. What if it's Lorelai, or Rory, or Paris? What if it's Paris? How can I even function if it's Paris? She's coming over. How do I look? Panic-stricken. Maybe I should take my shirt off. Why exactly? I don't know. I'm not thinking rationally, Daddy. Scott. Daddy Scott! Do not fight me on this right now! <laughs> it's okay. Just take a breath. Actually, if I could just touch you really fast. No. Hey! hey! Oh, don't let me forget to give you my script. You got it. Who is it? Is it Lane? Is it Miss Patty? Is it Paris? He's not usually this gay. Oh, that's okay. That's how I prefer men. Whose voice is that? It wasn't Babette. <laughs> no. Oh, I recognize it. It's... Oh, wait. Oh, it's April. And that's the reaction I'm used to getting. Wait, what's wrong? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. April just ruined my life. That's all. I thought your name was Vanessa. <laughs> it is. Okay, here we go. It was a character, dude. Really? April is not just a character. She's a heartbreaker. She breaks children's hearts and makes ugly collages out of the pieces that say, I hate children. I'm sensing this isn't going well. And I took my shirt off for you. What was I thinking? Huh, okay. This was great. Uh, thanks for the invite, Scott. Gonna start stealing your mail. Wait, wait what's the problem? Also, my script. She's I'm the problem. The problem. Hmm. Oh, so we agree. <laughs> what is it? I played a character that was kind of the reason the main couple of the show broke up after years of people waiting for them to get together, so. Kind of? Kind of the reason? That's like saying my mom was kind of an alcoholic, or I kind of steal money out of Daddy Scott's wallet. Say what? How do you think I felt? I was a little girl who loved that show. And then I get it and I'm like, oh my god, this is amazing. I'm a Gilmore girl, basically, by association. Instead, I was the Cousin Oliver of Stars Hollow. Oh, you know, I heard my scripts a lot like Gilmore Girls. Except with prison sex and a meth ring. Did you know that there's an entire website dedicated to how I single-handedly ruined Gilmore Girls? Oh, you've seen my site. That was you? No. Maybe. Definitely. You had a computer? Oh, I used the Sleeping Kids iMac. But I figured it was okay, because iMac. I am Mac. My name's Mac. Hi, Mac. So stupid. I swore that if I ever came face to face with the person who created that site, I would cut them. Is it bad? Not really. Got a knife? Uh, I got my script. It's pretty sharp. <laughs> bad time. Sorry. Do you, do you remember that time that uh, you put my head on Jar Jar Binks' body and called me Jar Jar Stinks? Well, some people like Jar Jar Binks. No one likes Jar Jar Binks. Okay, true. But hey, that's just kid stuff, right? <laughs> It's just kid stuff. No, it's so, it's, that's true. <laughs> Except for the time that you petitioned the UN to get them to change to an 11th month calendar year so that the entire planet would forget that April ever existed. Or I said we could stick with 12 months and just change the name. Oh, that's right. And you asked that question. Oh, that, who, oh, what's worse, being swallowed whole by a python or April Nardini? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. It's clearly April. Well, yeah, because the python thing would make a good story. I've spent $20,000 on therapy because of you. I'm on an FBI watch list because of you. I've spent three years without sleep because I spend my nights screaming, Oh God, why is the universe so mean? Because of you. Sounds like you're kind of obsessed with me. 
Not the first time. You should know, though. I'm gay. Obviously. You're obsessed with Gilmore Girls and have a daddy. Scott. Daddy Scott. I'm just gonna let it go this time. I spent 13 years thinking about the pain that I would inflict upon you. Now here you are, standing right in front of me, like a lump of corn-fed Play-Doh. As if. I'm allergic to corn. Have you ever thought that, I don't know, maybe it was Luke's fault for keeping April a secret this whole time? Well, no. Did you ever think, aw, she's just a child. She's innocent in all of this. Well, no. Did you watch the revival and maybe think, wow, April's cool now. I can stop updating my website. And I fast forwarded your scenes. No! Ma! Dude, I'm like way bigger than you. <laughs> oh, you want to keep that? Then I strongly suggest you think about deleting your website or I'll cut you into Nardini tiny pieces. Well, that didn't quite go as I hoped. Dude, she was kind of awesome. If she'd been like that in the show, maybe I'd have liked her. My script. Vanessa, my script. Move. Okay. Thanks for coming, Oak. <laughs>